San Antonio police say a late night disagreement ended with a man shot several times in a north side neighborhood. It happened just after 10 p.m. in the 200 block of Adrian Drive between Vance Jackson and West Avenue. SAPD says the suspect and the victim were inside the house when the suspect pulled out a gun and shot the victim several times in the arms, head and body. The victim was taken to a hospital in critical condition. The suspect got away and so far police say they don't have a good description of him. This morning, evacuation orders in place for those who live north of Amarillo. Justin was just hinting at some of that due to massive wildfire burning about 300,000 acres right now. Governor Abbott has also issued a disaster declaration. Several Bear County firefighters are now being dispatched to help fight the flames as well. According to the A&M Forest Service, the largest of the infernos, the Smokehouse Creek Fire is 0% contained. Flames have also spread into southern Oklahoma. Other wildfires are also burning in other parts of the panhandle, bringing the total of acres actively burning to about 370,000. The fires have also shut down a nuclear weapons facility northeast of Amarillo. Officials at the Pantex facility that disassembles nuclear weapons says non-essential personnel have been evacuated and crews are ready to fight any fires if they get too close. Right now, there are no reports of any injuries. It's still not clear what sparked the flames. However, strong winds have made the job very difficult for firefighters. Back here at home, a Northside ISD school board meeting last night turns into a call for action. It's all after the death of a man known as Mr. Fred. 73-year-old Alfred Jimenez died after he was hurt while working in a special education classroom. Now, several teachers showed up to the board meeting to voice their frustrations and ask for change within the district. Many teachers said they are overworked and spoke about times they were hurt in classrooms with students with severe learning and emotional disabilities. The blame does not lie on the students. The blame does not lie on the teachers. The blame lies in the lack of funding and the lack of resources that our schools continue to have. And that, we look to the state of Texas for that. The president of Northside AFT, a union that represents NISD teachers and staff, tells us on top of additional state funding, members want more training for staff and more staff in classrooms. In response, school board members said per protocol, they were not going to directly address public comment. However, they did say they're listening. Happening tomorrow, President Biden and former President Trump are both expected at the southern border. San Antonio Mayor Ron Nierberg plans to meet with Biden in Brownsville to discuss the influx of migrants at the Texas-Mexico border. Meanwhile, former President Trump will be in Eagle Pass. We will have crews on the border tomorrow covering both visits. Encourage people to do everything they can and not let anyone turn them away from voting. That is the message from Bear County Commissioner Tommy Calvert as early voting continues. Calvert says his office is working with the Texas Civil Rights Project Election Protection to investigate voter complaints as we get closer to the state primaries. Now, Calvert says there's been some complaints about people not receiving mail-in ballots. One voter we talked to says she was told there was no record of her mail-in ballot application in the system. She was worried after hearing it's happened to others. They were all calling me that they had not received the mail ballot. So that's why I was very concerned because if this is happening to us, I mean, how many other people have not received their mail ballot? Uh, Bear County Elections Administrator says over 19,000 ballots were sent out. You can call the elections office to find out if your mail-in ballot was sent. Early voting ends on Friday.